watching genuine talent larger than life heroics now you can bring home the legend in the john wayne dvd collection we just passed the point of no return including two of the duke's most memorable films never before released on dvd or video the academy award winning the high and the mighty on a two disc special edition dvd set i like the way you said that and the epic story of evolution and survival only is now Get the holes in the answer search button. When do we start looking for them? Also on a special edition DVD, Island in the Sky. Anything. Mind you, anything can happen up here, Murray. Plus, this must-own collection includes 10 of the Duke's best films and collectible packaging. El Dorado, Rio Lobo, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, Big Jake, his Oscar-winning performance in True Grit, In Harm's Way, Donovan's Reef, The Sons of Katie Elder, The Shootist, and Atari. I've taken about all of this I'm going to take. And coming soon to DVD, special collector's editions of Hondo and McClintock. Out here, a man settles his own problems. Redefine your DVD collection with the man who defined the term movie star. The John Wayne DVD collection. Own them all. Ask an average John Wayne fan to name the star's hit aviation film. Chances are he'll say The High and the Mighty. Some might recall The Flying Tigers, made during World War II, or even Flying Leathernecks from 1951. But the movie that slipped through the cracks is Island in the Sky. Hold your hands. This picture is drama at its best, pitting man against the brutality of nature in the frozen wastes of Labrador after the crash landing of a World War II transport plane. Released in 1953, it was a critical and financial success, but ultimately was overshadowed by the bigger, better promoted film, The High and the Mighty, released the very next year. Over the decades, Island in the Sky has languished in the vaults, virtually forgotten and invisible film. It's a shame such a good movie has fallen off the radar, so to speak, but that makes its return on DVD all the more welcome. Here is a story of civilian pilots, buffeted by icy, howling winds, with little food, no place to hide, no place to warm their frozen bodies. Will they get out alive? Meanwhile, the surgeons, fellow pilots and crewmen, fight a grim race against time and the elements. Actually, the film is based on a real-life incident that took place during World War II, when the screenwriter and adventurer Ernest K. Gann flew as a civilian pilot in the Air Transport Command that's featured in this film. Gann turned the story into a novel, then adapted it for the screen, joining a superb creative team led by director William Wellman, with John Wayne producing and starring, the same team that later put The High and the Mighty on the screen. A sterling cast was chosen for this tense, no-frills film, featuring some of Wellman's and Wayne's favorite actors, including such veterans as Andy Devine, Walter Abel, Lloyd Nolan, Wally Cassell and Alan Jocelyn, Wayne's old friend Paul Fix, and his son-in-law, Harry Carey Jr., flying along with one of the great stars of early Western films, Bob Steele. Such relative newcomers as Sean McClory and James Arness, and a few future stars like Fess Parker and Mike Connors. Don't blink or you'll miss them. Three former juvenile actors have prominent parts as well. Jimmy Light as Wayne's navigator, Carl Alfalfa Schweitzer as Nolan's co-pilot, and Daryl Hickman as another crewman. Amazingly, the shooting was completed ahead of schedule, a feat that was heralded in the trade journals at the time. What's even more remarkable is that the 90-man crew spent almost two weeks shooting in the cold of the Sierra Mountains as they recreated the extremely harsh subarctic conditions faced by the hapless crew of the Diamond Airplane. If you survive the tension of the story, settle in for a behind-the-scenes look at the making of the film as cast and crew members share their vivid recollections. 
segments on the history of early aviation, and the role of the transport carriers during World War II serve up little-known information with terrific photos and newsreel footage. And don't miss the special profile on writer Ernest K. Gann, whose passion for the skies was the driving force of his life, a passion that found its way into novels, screenplays, and people's memories. Perhaps the biggest difference between this film, made in 1953, and movies of today has nothing to do with technology. This is a film utterly devoid of irony and cynicism. It celebrates comradeship and loyalty, qualities that, in this case, make heroes out of ordinary men. So bundle up and get ready for the knuckle-biting adventure of Island in the Sky. You'll find yourself on the frozen earth in the middle of nowhere, desperately trying to survive. You'll feel the tension, the frustration of the weary search crews, and you'll feel what every good movie should make you feel, part of the story.